In this video, I'll show you how I modify a Squarespace theme to redesign my homepage. This is part of a video series where I share how I redesign my website, starting from creating a sitemap, designing mood boards, creating wireframes, and designing a landing page mockup in Adobe XD. Now is the final step of taking that mockup and making it a reality. I happen to already be using Squarespace for my website, so I'll need to modify it to get to the design I want. Now, I'm no expert with Squarespace by any means, and I'll admit that I wasted a little bit too much time exploring themes. Then I realized it didn't really matter, so I ended up keeping my same theme and just redesigning the page from scratch, and then modifying the template site styles. The first thing I changed was the logo. Before, I used my full name, but in this new redesign, I wanted to include just my first initial with a period. I adjusted the type style to match my mock-up, which was Helvetica Bold. Then I started adding the content I wanted to feature on my homepage. From my mock-up, I included the text, Monica is a designer, crossed off, photographer, crossed off, creative partner. I went back and forth and played around with this quite a bit and didn't like how it ended up looking, so I just used Monica is a designer, crossed off, creative partner. I like how much cleaner this looks. For some reason, I couldn't figure out the strike through feature on the text block, so I ended up creating a custom code block and adding the strike through through code. Underneath, I used the H2 text styles to add a paragraph of companies I've designed at in the past. Underneath that is where I deviated from the original design a little bit and improvised from another design I created. Essentially, I wanted this to be a short about page where you would be able to click through to see my design portfolio, photography, a link to my shop, Instagram, and also to contact me. Each would follow with a link in a light purple color. I plan to use this accent color sparingly in links and the occasional button. While I did intend for the design of my site to be very minimal and focus on white and black, it is important to have some color differentiation so someone will know if something is a link that they can click through. Originally, I wasn't going to have a top navigation and only have a footer navigation, but after sitting with this for a while, I didn't feel like it would serve someone who's looking through my site. People are so used to a header navigation that without one, someone might find it difficult to navigate throughout my site and find what they're looking for. One of the issues I kept having with Squarespace was the spacing and margins. From my original design, I wanted everything to align on the left, but this didn't end up working within the template, and I, also I just couldn't figure out how to customize it with code, but I actually like how it turned out. Having the M logo and the footer off to the left helps to differentiate it from the main content of the website. After adjusting all of the desktop styles to my liking, I went through and tested tablet and mobile styles, which is super important, especially since I know through my Google Analytics that about 60 to 80% of those who view my site are viewing through mobile. And of course, we should always be thinking about designing for mobile first, but I just happen to find it easier to start with the desktop styles. So after I finished the home page, I realized that I needed to create a new page that would be linked when someone would click on the link to view design portfolio. I had already created individual project pages, but I basically needed a collection page that would house all of those projects. It was pretty simple. I mostly just wanted a two column grid with a thumbnail photo on the left, an engaging title, short description, and link to view the project. I had already created the same collections page for links to photography galleries a while back, so I just kept it the same. This is the final design and experience of the website. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. This concludes the series of where I redesign my portfolio website. I'd love to hear from you. What are some of the challenges when you plan, wireframe, and design your own portfolio site or client websites? Let me know by leaving a comment below and maybe I'll make a video about it in the future. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe for more.